Working on the music for Receiver, we decided to add dynamic music to the game. This would create interesting states of intensity while giving players clues to what was happening in the world around them. The lowest layer of intensity started out as a long droning piece of music where exploration of the levels was going to play a key role. And uh, I came back and I used a few pieces of that to start off the track. The first piece that you hear is an acoustic classical guitar recorded and looped but I'm only looping a very small portion of that over and over at a high rate and then I use filters and uh, plugins to evolve that sound over time. Here's what that sounds like. The other portion that made it into the basic drone was processed tuba. It's the most acoustic sounding portion of the song, but when listened to everything else, it does sound like an electronic sound. We kind of get this low sound coming in and out at the bottom. It sounds about like this. When you near an enemy, we start to add a new layer, which has three parts to it. A pulsating electronic groove, fluctuating synth bass, and an arpeggiating lead. We'll listen to each one of those portions right now. This is the pulsating uh, synth. So you can see that we use the gate to create a lot of that tension, a lot of that cutoff in the sound. If you listen to it without that gate, it becomes a little less interesting. So this sound came from my Waldorf Q. The other sound that came from the cue is the low uh, evolving bass drone sound. That sounds like this guy right here. That sound is created by taking a, a fairly bright sounding uh, synth and then applying a filter sweep to create the the movement and the growing and changing sounds. So um, it's a pretty effective way to create change over time, which I think is important with electronic music. <laughs>
So this third portion to this layer uh, is a Arturia emulated mini Moog. Um, and uh, what happens when the, when the enemies become aware of you as another indication that you've been spotted, the whole layer will increase in volume. And uh, this really helps to make that quite clear. As you progress in the game, you start to reach rooms with more and more enemy kill drones. The second layer increases as you reach those rooms, but when there are so many enemies that it's going to become a little overwhelming, that is when the drum layer starts to kick in. The drum layer sounds like this. something of a reminder of the dystopian future, the drums are playing in 7-8 to help keep tension going and give it an additional feeling that the world doesn't quite fit where people are used to it being. Finally, there is a moment of revelation. You find a small piece of the answers you are looking for. When you discover a tape, a voice is heard, almost calling to you, helping to direct you forward. Thanks for checking out this music overview from Receiver. Remember, if you're interested in the game, you can buy Receiver at wolffire.com slash receiver for about five bucks. Or you can get the game for free by pre-ordering Overgrowth. We've also made the soundtrack available at bandcamp.antonereal.com. Oh, my God.